So recently I started getting into this retro styled UIs. It's kind of like a mix between old school playful design. Let me show you what I mean. This is a retro styled e-commerce app where they are basically selling I think iced teas. Let's check out the product details. They have like this boxy like UI. We can select our packs, add to cart, have this nice animation going on. Click on this. You can check out. You can see how they are using these very bright colors. That's kind of looking pretty well. Gumroad is another popular example that uses this kind of design language. There's also this portfolio. I think it's called Christie.digital. I all love this design, like it looks so unique and pretty cool. So yeah, you can check a bunch of other examples from here as well. It can definitely give some unique look and make your website stand out to certain audience. So I kind of wanted to make my portfolio using this design language. But unfortunately most of the UI libraries out there are pretty generic looking and after searching for hours I couldn't find something that I was looking for. Uh, so I started building my own. Introducing retro UI, a retro style Tailwind CSS components library for modern web apps. You can check it out on ui.ariflogs.com. I will link it in the description. Let me show you some of the components. So you have your button, you can see when you hover it has like a slight nice animations and here you can see all the codes with the Tailwind CSS classes that you can just copy paste in your code base. So far I have accordions, avatars, buttons that I just showed you, cards. You can see how it looks so unique than other typical UI libraries. This is also the basic card. <laughs> I think it, this should be on top of this one, but I gotta do some ordering here. But anyways, uh, this is the input. Has the same design language going on. When you try to type, the box shadow reduces, and there is text areas, which is basically the same but bigger. And lastly, we have typography. This is the paragraph, and these are the headings. And all of this is Tailwind CSS classes, so you don't have to install any third-party packages or anything. But if you really want to get the exact styles that you are seeing here, you do need to do some customizations in your Tailwind config. For example, for the headings, I'm using this font called Archivo Black. Hope I'm saying it right. And for all the paragraphs, I'm using ShareTech. You can find them on Google Fonts and set them as CSS variables and start using them. And also I have some color configs here, some box shadows uh, that you can just copy paste in your tail config. And every components you're seeing here is open source. So you can just directly go to the GitHub repository from here and check out the code base yourself. And I am planning to add more and more components. So if you want to contribute, hit me up. All my social links will be in the description. And if you like it, please leave a star and share it with your dev friends. Uh, that will help to spread this out a little more. And yeah, that's all for this video. Please visit ui.arivlogs.com to check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.